It's my honor and pleasure to have been appointed by Mayor Menino to uh, join the Boston School Committee. And I want to take a few minutes to talk about what I think are the great challenges uh, to all urban districts and the opportunities we face and some of the uh, obstacles that we, that we have to address in order to uh, be able to prepare all our children uh, for the 21st cent demands of the 21st century economy. Most importantly, I think the, the core challenge is how to develop systematic, accurate, and valid evaluations of teachers and principals. Uh, accountability in all public systems, I think, is extre extremely important, and uh, we need to both be able to understand how people are performing, how to hold them accountable for their performance, but do it in a way that uh, honors their rights and privileges as em employees, and that unless we uh, recognize that these are hardworking professionals who need resources to be supported in their aspirations for greatness, I think we're missing the boat if we only look at the outcome measures such as value added. The other is we need need uh, to develop professional development uh, approaches that are outcome-based. Uh, historically, we've allowed people to take courses or go to workshops, but we haven't had account held them accountable for their professional development activities and how that's aligned with actually the, the goals of their particular schools. So we need to do a better job of aligning individual faculty members' professional development uh, opportunities with the, their goals as professionals and also the needs of the particular schools in which they work. Uh, another very important aspect of the role of a school committee is to generate greater levels of community financial and cultural support. Uh, the school district cannot raise children on their own. Uh, we need the uh, uh, surrounding ec economy, jobs, corporations to provide the type of uh, financial support we need to meet the needs of all kids. And finally, um, we need to have a data-driven public policy approach. That, uh, at my tenure in the school committee, one of the things I'm going to be constantly looking for is what is the data that supports our decision making and make sure that our, our decisions are data-driven. And that's a very important um, um, part of the work. I think the biggest challenge in Boston is going to be not our ability to uh, teach the children in our classroom, but the fact that at this point we have an ongoing and fairly endless supply of poor kids who are coming into our classroom. And that means they're coming in hungry. That means they're coming in not sure where they're going to be sleeping at night. That means they're coming in without the type of uh, cultural social advantage that middle class children have in terms of uh, playing sports, uh, music, and all the things that uh, we surround middle class families surround their children with. And so we as a public school system where we're 80 percent uh, free and reduced lunch have to take proactive steps to provide that type of uh, broad learning that leads to success in schools. And you can look at the value added schools and many scores in many of our schools and see that we're doing it very, very well. And so one of the challenges that we have to turn to the community is what are we going to do to create family supporting jobs so we, do, we, we can reduce the poverty rate uh, within the district so that uh, we're not so burdened with taking on those problems. Because that allows us to bring in kids who are better prepared to learn and that will then come and live in Boston and take those family supporting jobs. Um, and to achieve that, we have to increase the coordination between the school district, between housing, between the legal and medical professions, and also with our corporate partners. So I'm very excited about this opportunity to uh, spend our time uh, in Boston really finding ways that we as a community can serve the needs of all of our children.